Welcome back, guys. It's EBA 101, and we're going to talk about the fight between Triple G and uh, Camille Saramata. This is a fight that's going to happen in December 18th, uh, you know, a couple weeks from now. Yes, I have the Christmas tree already up, uh, you know, sticker in a little early, but let's get back to the fight. Uh, this fight is, I think, the mandatory for Triple G. Uh, a lot of people don't have never heard of Camille. I hadn't heard of him. I checked out some highlights right now. He doesn't look uh, explosive. He looks like fundamentally sound probably. And he doesn't have any, much power. So this kind of fits right now Triple G style probably the best. Because I do feel that Triple G is, has been struggling with speedy fighters. Just the younger fighters. So someone who is very explosive uh, is kind of getting to him. And he's been taking a lot more punches. Uh, you know, when I was watching um, jabs on the zone, they were talking about is Triple G still, you know, elite fighter? And this is a question I want you guys to answer down below if you guys can and say, hey, Triple G still got it. He's 38 years old, but, you know, he's just been facing some tougher opponents. But <clears throat> I believe he has lost some after Canelo, even probably before Canelo in the Daniel Jacobs fight. First, I thought it was maybe. Daniel Jacobs doing more than than expected in that fight, but I think time after time I've seen Triple G's just reactions a little bit slower and, and losing him his explosion. He still has power. He's very powerful, you know, middleweight. But he also hasn't really ever stepped up to a plate where he looked dominant against someone of a championship level level uh, caliber type of fighters, right? He looked bad versus Darmanichenko. He looked bad against Jacobs. Uh, he looked pretty good, you know, in the first fight versus Canelo, which I still feel like he won. Uh, in the second fight, he looked good towards the end, but he started off really, really slow. Um, but the other issue here is that Triple G, you know, hasn't really faced anyone big since Canelo. And and if you, I don't you know, I'm not bandwagoning in Canelo, but... Let's put it in perspective. If Canelo would be doing the same thing that Triple G, Canelo has been criticized, has been talked so bad about how, how he chooses his opponents and stuff. And, you know, right now he does have a better opponent, Kellen Smith. And uh, Triple G is almost always just waiting for Canelo, waiting for Canelo's fight. Instead of fighting Charlo, fighting, you know, Andre, you know, finding those championship fights that I think he needs in his career. Yes, he has so many defenses. They're calling it 21 defenses. And there's people in debate that's only up to 16. Uh, whatever it is, you know, has he has more than uh, Carlos Monzon and some of the greater middleweights, you know. And B-Hub, he has the B-Hub has the 20 legit defenses. But uh, I don't think he's at that level anymore. Let's say at his peak, he was, you know, a 9 out of 10. Probably just because of opponents of tier and now I feel he's like a 8 uh 7.5 maybe even you know he's creeping down on the low on sevens so I, I do expect him to win this fight but after this fight I really want him to fight someone big if it's not Canelo because he's gonna be chasing that and I know that that's a fight that he's been wanting he has to fight another champion we need to if he's gonna be a champion at this weight class no matter you know his age, if he's championship level, he should be fighting other champions as well. You know, Matt Pacquiao's fighting champions in his past 40 already, right? So Triple G needs to have that pressure behind him. And I still think that since he left his, left his ex-coach, he hasn't been the same. And I think he needs to do something about that. And it, maybe it's his legs and maybe, you know, he's been through some wars now with uh, Canelo and that's slowing him down. But... He needs to step up, uh, and that's pretty much it, guys. Watch that fight. I know today, no, tomorrow, Friday, Black Friday, there's going to be Daniel Jacobs versus uh, Gabriel Rosado. Uh, I'm not making a prediction video that much. I'm just including it here. Uh, Daniel Jacobs is heavy favorite. You know, he has speed, power, just the skills. If he doesn't really win this fight, you know, I don't know what to say anymore. You know, Daniel Jacobs' career will kind of, Dwell down, but he should win this easier than most of his recent fights. And also for him, he needs to start fighting some of those top guys uh, for a championship belt. He needs a better resume. I know for a really long time he was fighting champion after champion and champion, or 
just contender number one contender number one contender so he has a pretty solid career but he also has lost his two biggest fights versus triple g and for versus canelo right so he needs a big win and make a miracle happen he is the miracle man after coming back from cancer so make it happen with that it is it well peace out and uh like and subscribe please